After 18 days in Puerto Vallarta, it was time to get out of the city. I'm Danny, and this is Mike, Walker, and Granger. We've been living full time on the road since early 2022. Our hope is to complete the entire Pan American Highway from the northernmost part of Alaska to the southernmost tip of Argentina. If you're interested in following our journey, which is bound to include many beautiful places, surprises, and laughs along the way, then please subscribe. Everything okay? Did you help pick it up? Yeah. I am so happy to be out here in the woods, in the mountains. We haven't really had a campsite like this since being in on mainland Mexico. I haven't been feeling too hot the past few days, but hoping to get back to more of kind of my normal here soon and just being out here and sitting outside and all that has just been so nice. We're so happy to be here. But we're only staying here one night and Mike's actually packing up now to get ready to go. And then we're gonna keep making our way towards this butterfly preserve with which has a bunch of monarch butterflies. We're not sure if they're still there though. They may have already migrated away. So we'll see, but uh, it's just so nice to get back to this kind of camping. This is really what makes us happiest, I think. At least me. Mike, Mike likes the hustle and bustle of cities and having lots to explore and everything like that and the culture and there's pros and cons to both, but this part is just really refreshing and relaxing. The mornings we spend outside taking our good old time are infinitely better than any alternative. This has always been one of our favorite things about camping, sipping our coffee and easing into our day with the trees. Granger and I are getting ready to go for a walk today. I'm doing this movement program where I'm working with a coach who's actually recovering from long COVID herself and who has made really strong progress. And she is a health coach or she was a trainer for cyclists before long COVID. And I think now she still works with athletes and also with folks like me with long COVID. And on my agenda or schedule for movement today is a 10 minute walk which I'm looking forward to since we're out here in the woods and it's a beautiful day out but my heart is racing a bit um I was just up to like 135 after standing up so I'm trying to let it settle down a little bit and then Granger and girl <laughs> and then Granger girl and I will go out for our walk which she is ready for Granger 
You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Let's go. Let's go. Look who we found. Did you pay for another night? Yeah. We're good. All right, I'm walking. Okay. What are you listening to? <laughs> uh, music. We're halfway through, and I'm feeling a little less winded than I was in the first two minutes or so. So that's good, and it's pretty out here, and Granger's having fun. Sniffing everything, peeing on everything. Granger, come on. Heart rate is a little bit better. It's only at 115. Almost done. Heart rate is still not too bad, but definitely feeling a wee bit winded. That's okay. That was nice. I really enjoyed it and I think Granger had a lot of fun and it's just nice being out in the trees and it's breezy and it's sunny and it's just so nice. We actually were only planning on staying here for one night but since we have this entire place to ourselves and it's just such a peaceful and nice place to hang out we decided to book another night so that's what Mike was doing when we crossed him on the path and we have our Spanish lessons coming up here soon, which is why Mike is trying to get better satellite signal for the Wi-Fi. And yeah, then we're just gonna hang out here today. I said, una, una mas, una mas noches. Or maybe I should have said, un mas noches una. <laughs> uh, maybe una noche mas. I think it has to be una, because noche is feminine. I just am not sure where the mas goes. Una mas noche, una noche mas. Maybe we can ask Clarivelle in our classes today. Maybe. Muy bien. Número? Mm -hmm. Ato distrib distribuye el periodo... El period... <laughs> el periodico <laughs> escolar. Yeah. Muy bien, número tres. Uh -huh. La reunión concluye antes de las ocho. Muy bien, número cuatro. Uh -huh. La tecnología influye en la vida. One of the cool things about the Butterfly Preserve is they let you camp in this wide open field near the entrance of the park. Came out for some morning drone shots in this beautiful spot and proceeded to lose the drone. It's stuck up in a tree somewhere, so trying to find it. So my plan is to climb up into this tree, hopefully be able to see the drone better, and then potentially just shake the tree until it falls out of its branches. I am currently up in the tree trying to find the drone. I was able to see it from the ground, but once you're up in the tree, it's kind of hard to see where it's at. So I'm gonna keep looking. I've been in the tree shaking it, hoping that it would just drop because I couldn't actually find out where it was. But I just came down and I can actually see the drone a lot better now. So I think it has moved from my shaking. So I think I'll go back up the tree and shake again and hopefully it'll fall. Well, guess what fell out of the tree? It's a new day, our drone is recovered, and we move down to a slightly flatter spot. You might be wondering at this point, where are these butterflies? The good news is that there are still some here, 
but the less good news is that it's a bit of a hike to get to them. Mike hiked up to visit them one day and snapped some photos, which you'll see at the end of the video. But it was pretty difficult to capture them on video because, well, they're fluttery butterflies. This other fella here is Vino. He's a local and is something of an ambassador for the travelers who visit this area. If you ever happen to camp here, you'll likely meet him and then fall in love with him just like we did. We camped here for five days and spent a lot of our time shooting a one-year review of our Bowen Customs camper bed. These past few campsites felt like getting back to our roots and the reason why we started traveling this way in the first place. It was refreshing and recharged us for a lot more exploring of towns and cities throughout Mexico.